I'm obviously extremely biased because I, I think all this stuff is cool. And I, I even have to tell you that, that you, you might have thought the answer would be I'm most interested in the medical applications part of it because that's so much of what our institute is supporting now. But as I learned about some of the um, uh, topics and some of the examples that the Smithsonian scientists brought in um, to the exhibition, which were much more about evolution, much more about applications of genomics to even things like uh, bird strikes to airplanes and, and, and things like that, I, I thought that was incredibly cool too. I, I, I think so. I, I was as much enamored with things I didn't know as much about, little niches in genomics, as I was about the stuff I was the most familiar with. I'm most looking forward to seeing all the parts come together. I mean, when we design these things, we don't, we, we design them as cohesive um, ideas. So the vertical surface working with the horizontal surfaces, working with the interactives, with the videos, with the, um, with the digital interactives. And so, you know, I'm excited to, to see it built. I'm excited to see how it all works together. I mean, we have a sense of how it works together when we do these drawings, you know, um, but it's not the same as seeing the real thing, so. I, I gave a lot of thought to which part of the exhibit uh, excites me the most. And as I started thinking about the different puzzle pieces that make up the exhibit, they, they were all equal in some ways, but I think that one of the things that interests me most in a lot of places we're putting activity is in how the exhibit will reach out beyond the exhibit. So at the end of the exhibit, there will be an ancillary space where our educators can work with the public on developing even more activities. Really, I like the whole, I like the whole exhibit because it's something that's very different. It's very organic presentation. Um, the stretched fabric walls um, have a quality to them that will instantly identify with the visitor or the visitor will instantly identify with it. Um, it's not hard, you know, it's, it's not a hard surface. It's something that is extremely attractive. It's a chock full exhibit. I think my favorite story is the human microbiome. We have a title that says, you are a superorganism, and that is so completely true. Um, when I first learned about it, I was enamored with the topic of just having millions of microbes on your body, and we couldn't find that out until we started sequencing DNA and looking at the genome. Um, so the fact that we learned so much that we couldn't culture a number of these microbes before, and it, here's this holistic balance that your body has to achieve with millions of communities on your in and on you, um, and what are the possibilities that we can do in terms of our own health care in the future, and how does this play into how we uh, study disease and our own uh, continuing health? Uh, there's just so many possibilities. Something actually I think that, I think the, the, the kind of intro toolkit that we're gonna give people, um, there'll be a short movie that I think would be a very good sort of three to five minute primer on, you know, if you needed to know about, you know, what is a genome and how does it work? I think um, the, the film that'll be part of that, um, and the animation I think will be uh, particularly neat. Um, I'm eager to see how that turns out. So my heart has always been to do something to leave this world a better place than when we found it. And I tried to do that in you know, biochemistry, and then later on I moved into you know, more of a field of being in the arts. So in this piece, it's actually those two things combine, and in that way I'm very proud that that'll, that'll be a piece that can achieve a little bit of that. All we have to do is inspire one kid. I'm really excited about the interactives that we've created. I'm really excited about the hands-on activities that are going to be in the exhibit because I think they will, that they will allow people to learn so much in an engaging and fun way. So I'm really excited. And maybe part of it is that these are the kinds of things that you really can't test before they happen. So there's this element of surprise. You know, you hope it's going to work, but maybe it's not. Um, but I'm really excited about how the interactives have come together and bring together many elements of the exhibition into one fun place. Um, so that, I, I would have to say, that's what I'm really excited. I'm very excited about um, what we're going to present 
in looking at the natural world. Um, and by that I mean looking at other organisms, um, how we use the technologies around genomics, being able to sequence a lot of things to understand environments like looking in the ocean or on a coral reef, to use the technologies to um, see what's there that we wouldn't normally be able to see just by looking. Asking what your favorite, it is a hard question, it's almost like asking what your favorite kid is, but um, fortunately these are not kids. Uh, I probably have two things that I think will be the most fun. One is the interactive where we look at people who have traced their ancestry uh, and family history and then all the way back to their, their origins. And connected to that, and actually which starts time-wise first, is we hope the, that it, it comes out nicely, is the interactive of human origins or human history. I'm really excited to see the documentary that the History Channel is doing for us. It's more of a timeline. Um, I, I'm one of these people who also likes to see the steps that got us there and it also talk about the future and they're uh, interviewing different people that were involved with the genomics project um, and also being forward thinking. So there is an interactive called What Do You Think that's in the exhibit and I am uh, most excited about that because it's asking the public questions where there's no one answer and asking for their opinions. My favorite part about the exhibit is not an element in the exhibit, it's the fact that we're going to have so many visitors experiencing this fairly complicated topic and we'll have the chance to test what works with them. I hope to get a lot smarter about how we talk about complicated science from this exhibit. Typically in exhibits, we'll be doing things that are somewhat intuitive to our visitors. The human genome is not intuitive to our visitors, so we have a big leap from what the visitor walks in with and what we hope they'll walk out with. And we're going to take this opportunity to test their changing perceptions as they go through the exhibit. So what I'd like to get from this exhibit really is a better understanding of how we communicate with our museum visitors on topics that are not trivial, but they're very important. Thank you.